This has always been a very special weekend for our parish in Drumshanbo. The beautiful traditional music of the Joe Mooney School still lingered in our memory as we came to pray the Port Uncle and Novena with the Poor Clare Sisters on the 2nd of August, the Feast of Our Lady of Angels. And that same weekend, families gathered from near and from far to stand beside the resting place of their own family to pray together our Cemetery Sunday Mass. Now, sadly, none of this could happen for us this year. So today we are using the power of social media, that is Facebook, to connect with you as we pray together our cemetery prayer of this year. It just strikes me that I cannot see any of you as I pray. But you are really present and I know that you are there praying with me. I cannot see those who have gone before us those who have died in order to live with God forever. But they too, you too, our loved ones who have gone before us, are just as really present with us as we gather in our prayer on this Sunday of the cemetery. As we gather on this cemetery Sunday, united with you at home, as we come to remember and pray the names of all those laid to rest in this holy ground, this place blessed by the tears of so many people. Remember especially those of you who made this journey last year, and we pray especially for all of you on that journey of grief. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you always and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, we believe that all the ties of friendship and affection that knit us throughout our lives do not unravel when we die. Confident that God always remembers the good we have done and forgives our sins, let us pray asking God to gather to himself all our loved ones, all who are resting in this cemetery, and all our faithful departed. And we pray, Almighty God, to the death of your Son on the cross, you destroyed our death. To his rest in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you. And through his rising again, you restored us to eternal life. So God of the living, and those who have died, accept our prayers for all who have died in Christ, our own family members, friends and neighbours who are laid to rest in the hope of rising again. Since they were true to your name on earth, let them praise you forever in the joy of heaven. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. We listen to the words that may have been spoken at the funeral mass of your loved one, words of such comfort and consolation that they never fail to move me. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. There are many rooms in my father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. I'm going now to prepare a place for you, and after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I love that Gospel, how Jesus goes to prepare a place. That's not enough, but he comes back then to take us with him, to take us by the hand, and to bring us to that room, the place, 
house of many rooms where he has prepared a place for us. There's a space, a place for each one of us in the house and in the heart of Jesus. And for you who are grieving, for you who have lost a loved one in this past year, there's a place in your heart. It's a place of sadness now and a place of pain, but it's the place like the place in heaven where your loved one will never die, will always live as love and the memory of that love lives forever in your heart. And so we come to make our prayer. God, the Almighty Father, raised the Son, Jesus Christ, from the dead. With confidence we ask him to save all people, living and those who have died. For all our relatives and friends who have gone before us and await the kingdom, that they may have the reward of their goodness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those whose faith was known to you alone, that they will have light and happiness and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who mourn for the loss of their loved ones, especially those who have lost a family member and friend this past year, we pray that you will find comfort in your sadness, certainty in your doubt, and courage in the loneliest times. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For ourselves who have come together in this prayer, that we may be reunited one day with all whom we love, when every tear will be wiped away. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now we want to name, as we do every year, those people from our parish community or from elsewhere who have been laid to rest in the cemeteries in our parish since this time last year. As we name the names, it always reminds me of a litany. You know the litany of saints? And after each name we say, pray for us. So as we name these people, in your mind I invite you to say, pray for us as we pray for you today. We remember in our prayer today, Patricia Tan, Bernie McNiff, Mary Finian, Martin Clark, Tom Joe Brogan, Josephine Nangle, Mae Byrne, Kathleen Barry, Teresa Kelly, Michael Casserly, Hugh Evans, Bridget Murray, Connor Campbell, Harry Morn, Nancy Morn, Adelaide Murray, and Sean Lynch. And I would like to add two other names for those already mentioned May Moroni and Michael Tom Murray, who will be laid to rest in the coming days in our cemetery here in this parish. Eternal rest grant to them, Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. So remembering that we are joined by all those who have gone before us, we pray as one family. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And on this special feast day in our parish and for the poor Clares, the feast of Our Lady of the Angels, we ask Mary, our mother, and all the angels to mind all those who have gone before us, to mind those who are ill and on their final journey, and to mind all our people and keep them safe in these anxious pandemic days. And let us pray. Lord God, whose days are without end and whose mercies beyond counting, keep us mindful 
that life is short and the hour of death unknown. Let your spirit guide our days on earth in the ways of peace and justice, that we may serve you in union with the whole church family, sure in faith, strong in hope, perfect in love. And when our earthly journey is ended, lead us rejoicing into your kingdom, where you live for ever and ever. Amen. May God's perpetual light shine upon the faces of all laid to rest here. May the lives they lived in our homes continue to inspire and to guide us on the way. May the memories we carry and share in stories keep them part of our lives and part of our family. May the gentle summer rains fall like tears from the skies of heaven to bless them. May the wild flowers and the summer meadows whisper their prayer in the gentle breeze of silence. May the birds of the dawn chorus sing their prayer of the beauty and joy of heaven. May we always reverence the sacred clay as the holy ground that holds seeds of hope. May each time we visit, walk, sit, pray and listen here bring us closer to the heart of God's kindness. May the angels guide them, the saints protect them and the prayer of Mary hold them in the light. Amen. And so we have come to the end of our prayer for today. I thank all of you who have taken the time to be with us and to pray with us on this, our Cemetery Sunday. Especially I want to thank all of you who have known the bereavement and the pain of loss in this past year. Your prayer is our prayer. And I want to reassure you that we continue to remember you and to walk this journey in solidarity with you. We end with the blessing of St. Francis on this the beautiful Franciscan feast of Our Lady of the Angels as my prayer as our prayer of blessing for you and for all your loved ones who are laid to rest in this holy ground. So may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he turn his face to you and be gracious to you. And may he look kindly upon you and give you his peace. And may Almighty God continue to bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.